Hey juicers. Believe it or not, there was actually a time in America when women were not allowed to vote. Crazy, right? Well, it certainly seemed crazy to many women in the 19th century, especially to this woman, Susan B. Anthony, civil rights leader, social reformer, and all around girl boss. Susan B. Anthony was perhaps the most influential person in the women's suffrage movement here in the US, which was a movement that fought for women's voting rights. Born in 1820 to a family full of activists, Susan spent her younger years giving passionate speeches against slavery. At the time, for a woman to give any sort of speech in public wasn't considered very ladylike. Susan didn't care. She did it anyway. It wouldn't be until 1851, though, when Susan met this woman, Elizabeth Cady Stanton, who she would spend over 50 years with fighting for women's rights, primarily a woman's right to vote. Susan spent those earlier years traveling around the country giving speeches, insisting the government recognize a woman's right to vote, oftentimes risking being thrown in jail. In 1868, Susan and Elizabeth started publishing a weekly newspaper called The Revolution, which focused on women's rights, especially a woman's right to vote. The following year, Susan helped found the National Women's Suffrage Association, which was actually one of two competing groups both fighting for women's voting rights. Then, in 1872, in perhaps the ultimate act of protest, Susan did the unthinkable. She voted. Which, yes, was still illegal for a woman to do. So she was arrested and tried and even fined $100, which she never paid. Susan would spend the rest of her life fighting for the vote. In 1888, she actually helped merge those two competing groups into one, the National American Women's Suffrage Association, a group she led until the year 1900. Susan B. Anthony passed away in the year 1906, and sadly, it wouldn't be until 1920 when Congress would pass the 19th Amendment, which would officially allow women to vote in the United States. Nicknamed the Susan B. Anthony Amendment, it was introduced over 40 years earlier. And although Susan never did live to see it passed, without her and many other suffragettes, it may have never even existed. Now that is some serious girl power. And that's the juice.